So, okay, acknowledging that people have different likes and dislikes, let's talk about common dating profile mistakes. And to spur this conversation, let's just look at a dating profile for, say, Dr. Orden here. Those are like intimidating guns. So any wow. mistakes there? Well, it, <laughs> Google you know, me, I'm pretty well known. <laughs> <laughs> I, I tend to follow the role, because I get a lot of people come to me in my organization, and I actually, I put the perfect online, what I think is the perfect online dating profile on my website, howtogettheguide.com. But the, the thing I always say to people is the more successful you are, the more humble you have to be. So you're, you know, you're a strapping man. Well, thank and you've you. achieved an awful lot and people know who you are. That means you've got to really downplay all of that. One of the things I love about Drew is he, he's not afraid to make fun of himself and just have fun with. Yeah. So if you did that, to me, I look at that and I know it's a big old joke. I guess in a but way that you know him too well. All right, that, you know him too okay, well. Okay, so let's move on to Jed. That's trying way too hard. So, no, so let's no, move on to Jedediah. Before we, before we move on though, well, that is constant on an app. I was on Plenty of Fish, you name it, Tinder, all these apps, and you do not know how many men do that. And it's, an, it's just an instant, like, it's so unattractive. It's yeah. a turn off. Of course. <laughs> so speaking of, course. of myself, there. <laughs> Yeah. The list goes on. On my free time, I rescue kittens. Oh, God. <laughs> I, was, I was more subtle. I just said, Google me, and you'll find everything. You had to listen. Yeah, I, well, I knew that wouldn't make that next step for me, <laughs> so I just figured I'd know, throw it right but, out. But this is, this is actually quite common. People do things like this. <laughs> and it's, I, I always think, what kind of person are you attracting? And again, like we were just talking about, you untrack a sort of unbearable person with this. Because this is a fantasy person. Like, this isn't a real person, right? Doctor, like, yes, this, yes, is, yes. this is action man who loves kittens. That, I actually do like kittens. I think they're kind of cute. Know, they're spastic, but... You can't, but, uh... you can't, like, list all the... Because it's too... It, no, one, no one like that exists in real... Because you have terrible things about you as well, right? Oh, I agree. So it's a fantasy that attracts the kind of person that wants a fantasy. Well, that kind of person is really a nightmare to be around. So I always think you have to create an image that if I think who the intelligent person whose opinion I really respect in my life, what would make them pay attention? And that's what you have to write about. And you, you know what's, what's really cool about that? And Jedediah, the first time you were on the show, mm -hmm. when you were the Men's Health cover star, you do, you read your bio and it, and it has all those things. But the thing I liked about you the most was just you talking about how you grew up. And, and I yes. thought that was just such a cool element. And, I, and I, I do often wonder if people feel so much pressure in the online dating world to tout their accomplishments that they forget. It gets back to kind of that why you are who but you also, are. But also it's kind of stupid because the, yeah. you can't stand out that way anymore, mm -hmm. right? You actually, the way to stand out in today's world is vulnerability. Vulnerability is extraordinarily rare. It's rare on TV, it's rare on YouTube, it's rare on Instagram, it's rare in profiles, it's rare everywhere. And so if you can say, if you can drop the shopping list, I, I hate when people say, I'm really loving, I'm this, I'm that, I'm close to family, I'm whatever. I always say, show, don't tell. So <laughs> if, you, if you talk to me, if you're funny, don't tell me you're funny, say something funny, right? If you're loving, don't tell me you're loving. Tell me your favorite idea of a day off is to hang out with your sister who's your best friend. Tell me something that shows me you're loving because the shopping list, no one buys it anymore. I, I love, oh, I love your advice. Great. Before we go, Rosie, let's, uh, let's use a profile that... Uh, <laughs> with a great smile who can make nice. me laugh and is fun to be around. No, no hookups though. You don't say that, no hookups though. <laughs> you don't say that because automatically that's what you attract, like people, I felt like, when, like I saw a lot of profiles, a lot of my friends put no hookups, especially because I am from Vegas, and Vegas is very well known for that. And I just felt like when a lot of my friends would put no hookups, the guys that would come up, they'd either get made fun of, or guys would be like, oh, really, no hookups? So you don't like to play, play anymore? It well, just, it's, it's it actually comes even worse than that. You know, I was coaching a woman recently who, she put in her profile, I don't want anyone who's fresh out of a relationship. Now, what she, it was a legitimate point for her, but the problem is, there are many things she doesn't want. Right? She doesn't want an axe murderer either. She didn't list that. <laughs> right? But why did she say, I don't want someone who's fresh out of a relationship? All she's done is tell me the exact way she's been burnt in the past. Yeah, it's like so if you say no right hookups, there. what you're saying is lots of guys have hooked up with me and it's really made me angry and bitter.